Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Amongst Doubts. If you're new here, my name is Samantha, and in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a um, really small but very Christmassy, festive, and fun haul that we have from Trader Joe's. So my husband and I at, have actually tried going to Trader Joe's to pick up some of their Christmas products a few times, and it just it has been so crazy busy. Um, and so today's a Monday. Usually we try to go on a weekend. So we just decided that we weren't going to try to go on the weekend anymore and um, try to fit in a time slot for us to go during the week. So, so that is what we did earlier today. And I just want to show you guys really quickly all of the fun and festive things that we picked up. So if you guys like these kinds of videos, please hit that like button and also please subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around and show you guys what we picked up from Trader Joe's. Okay guys, so here is a quick look at everything that we picked up. All that stuff over there is just our baking stuff for the week. So try to ignore that stuff, um, but here, Right here is what we have from Trader Joe's and I will go ahead and start to go over that with you. So the first thing that we have here is this premium Belgian chocolate assortment. So that is what those look like here. So it's premium and Belgian chocolate assortment. Assortment. Um, we picked up something like this from Costco as well and my kids are loving it so we went ahead and decided to go ahead and get another one. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you here what kind of chocolates there are. So this one is a pure ganache on marzipan dark chocolate, a smooth caramel milk chocolate, a coffee cream white chocolate, a uh, caramel and sea salt dark chocolate, vanilla mousse white chocolate, and then we have a pure ganache dark chocolate, a hazelnut cream, uh, not really sure what that word is, fuletine, fuletine, milk chocolate, and her raspberry cream dark chocolate. So all of those sound really yum, and we will just munch on those with our kids. And so then the other thing that we picked up is the um, ground wintry blend um, coffee. It's ground coffee sprinkled with spices. And I actually really love their pumpkin spice blend. And I ended up going through three canisters of that. So I'm really excited to try this one. And if I like it, hopefully we can run in there and get more canisters of this before it sells out. Just because these, like their um, spice blends, tend to be really good black and so since i've been on a black coffee um thing lately i just like to have those on hand and so then we got some spiced cider we got the winter wassail punch and then the 100 percent honey crisp apple cider um we got these um Waffle filled with caramel, caramel bites, and my husband actually really likes these things. I've never had them before. And then here we have a classic panettone and then a gluten-free Italian panettone. So I've never had this before, and then we saw that there was a gluten-free one, so we decided to go ahead and get that so that I can try that one. And here we have the Lindemann's Belgian Lambic Beer gift set. And when I like very first turned 21, um, which was 10 years ago. This is like one of the first beers, I mean beers that I liked and really tried and it's the Lindemann's Frambo um, or Frambo, however you say it, but it's really good. This is the raspberry Lambic beer and then it has the peach Lambic beer. Um, it has one glass there. And then again, on the other side, there is a, another raspberry, which is the best. I haven't had the peach yet, but I've had the raspberry and I've had the strawberry. And so there's a strawberry here. So if you're looking for a great gift for someone who likes these like specialty um, beers, this is a really good one. The glass in here is really cute. Then it has the four beers. So it's a really good gift. And this is for me. <laughs> okay. And so the next thing that we have back here is the German style spice cookies made with molasses and rolled powdered sugar. Um, it's a cookie mix. You just add butter and egg. And then we have um, another one of these chocolate um, set things. This one is a fig, a chocolate fig bonbon. And that's what it looks like on the inside. So we got that and then my husband really likes these chips so he decided to go ahead and get one and they're just the ghost pepper potato chips and then we got some dark chocolate stars and these are dark chocolate covered shortbread cookies 
And so the next thing that we have here is just this little gift set with um, some dark chocolate covered peppermint Jojo's. There's like a hot cocoa um, stirring stick in there with some coin chocolates and then a chocolate bar there. So there's that. And then we got these um, Christmas, these stockings, trees, and bell shaped tortilla chips. Um, and then my husband wanted to get some ginger brew, so he got that. He gets this every time we go to Trader Joe's and it's the sparkling limeade. Um, we got sparkling cranberry, sugar plum sparkling, and then sparkling apple cider right there. This is my husband's, uh, this is the shampoo that he likes to use and it's the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle. Um, he has a oily scalp, so this actually really helps him to stay dandruff free. And then we got this chocolate passport here, which my husband is super excited about because these chocolates all come from different um, places. Then we picked up a Danish Kringle and then we got um, the gingerbread house kit, which we already have a gingerbread house from Walmart, but it's always nice to have a second one since I have four kids. And so two kids can pair up to work on each house or I can help one kid work on the other one since my two year old probably won't do much. Okay guys, so there you have it. That is our festive and Christmassy Trader Joe's haul that we got on this go round. Um, maybe the next time we go, we will find more stuff and hopefully that wintry blend coffee is pretty good so that I can pick up more canisters of it next time we go. Um, again, if you guys like these kinds of videos, please hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe. I would love to have you here as a part of my community and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.